when Ronda lost, yeah, yeah, I'm, I wake up to all these messages. Now, now let's see what they do, and now let's. I'm like, what? I'm not. I don't celebrate. Like, I love, I love Ronda. I've always been a big supporter of Ronda. And people, when she loses that second one, and people are like trying to make, make me celebrate now. Now they're not nobody. So what kind of, that's that's a wrong mindset. I don't celebrate another person's, another person's defeat like that. That's that's weak. That's a weak individual that does that. And there's people that are trying to celebrate when I lost that got nothing got to do with it. That ain't the sign of a champion. That ain't the sign of a true, a true champion. So I I, I couldn't believe it when you know. Look, I, I don't I don't know. We're all we're all in on it on our own. We're all what what someone else is a, is and isn't allowed, or what somebody else does and doesn't do, has no effect on me and what I do. I'm doing what I do. She's doing what she's doing. Everyone else is doing what they're doing. It is what it is. She didn't have to do the media and got away with that. That's great. That's, I probably would have liked it. If they'd have done that to me, I would have showed up at UFC 200. But we split the card. UFC 200 done great numbers. UFC 202 done great numbers. It also gave me that extra bit of time that looking back, I probably needed. I probably needed that extra time. So everything worked out perfect for me. So I'm sitting there and I heard that she, she requested no media and they gave no media. I was happy for her because that's what she asked for. And then I also didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But I was just chilling. the next time you come back, will you ask for no media as well? I've created my own media empire. For UFC 202, I pushed down more content than ESPN, Fox, MMA fighting, all of them. I pushed down more content than all of them for a longer period of time. That's the animal I am. That's the kind of animal I am. You want to you wanna give out to me for not doing media? No problem. I'll create my own media. And I'll double up on all your media channels that are promoting the fight. And that's what, that's what I've done. So, whatever. I'm just going to carry on doing what I'm doing. How about, you said I've been quiet. I've been quiet. But really, when's, when's a day's, when has a day gone by? You haven't heard about me. So, I'm playing this perfectly. So, that's where I'm at. You've done a lot of impressive things in the UFC and prior to the UFC. But to me, the most impressive thing that you did was the way you handled the loss to Nate Diaz. You put on the suit, you took it like a champ, you faced the media, you did not run away, and, 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 and you came back, you took the same fight, you wanted it. That, to me, was the blueprint how a champion should handle a loss. And it was really admirable. I feel like you can show that to a young kid and say, this is how you handle it. And Dominic Cruz did a similar thing. And I don't want to pick on Ronda, but she did not do that. So for you, is that surprising? I know we're all different people, but do you think that it would have maybe helped her out in the Amanda Nunes fight if you don't shy away from talking about it, if you stand up there, face the music, and then move on so that you can close that wound? Look, she came in in phenomenal shape, Ronda yep. did. She, I no doubt she was backstage hungry, f training. I knew by the shape of her. I knew by looking at her on the scales. She came in with everything. She got hit with a, she got hit with an inside leg kick and a jab in the opening bell. And when that, listen, these gloves are very, very small. If things go wrong, if you get one crack, everything can, everything can just slip away. So I don't think, she handled her way. I don't think what way she handled it was incorrect. It was, she she did she she went to she she done what she had to do she got away from the spotlight she focused on her preparation she got hit early and then went downhill and that's it that's the fight game it's a cruel business but she handled it the way she should handle it and she came in in shape uh, and that's it um as far as the way i the way i handle it i handle it the way i felt i needed to handle it i owned up i'm a cocky motherfucker but if you come in you get me if you come in and you get me I'll stand before you and stand before everyone and say, you got me. I'll get you next time. And that's it. Every human being, everyone in here at some stage, we face loss. We've all lost something. So, fuck it. We all know how we feel. You know, yeah, we all know how, how a loser on the night feels because we have all lost at one point or other in our lives. So, I made no mistakes. I made no excuses. I manned up, took it on the chin. Got back to the drawing board, prepared, came back, and rearranged Nate's face in the second fight. So it was perfect.